All right, so, so we can just get a comfortable position on the chair or the cushion. And checking that the back is straight. The shoulders relaxed. The face relaxed. Letting go of any tension in the head or the neck. Bringing the awareness to the upper body and the shoulders. Relaxing the upper body. Bringing the awareness to the tummy, relaxing the tummy, the hips, the legs, the feet. Feeling the support of the chair or the ground underneath you. When you're ready, take a long breath in. And exhale. Letting go of any thoughts, worries, tension, anything keeping you from being fully present. And so today we start the meditations on the great scope, beginning with the benefits of bodhicitta. So we can begin with our, by establishing our motivation. And we can remember that we have a precious human rebirth. However imperfect it may be, it's still miraculous to have one. We've met perfect teachers. It's like a dream. But this life is impermanent and it will come to an end. And the conditions we have can end at any time. And so there's no better conditions than the ones we have now. So we can resolve now for this practice or this day. Now we're going to make life meaningful. And Lama Zopa Rinpoche says, There's no purpose in life except to work for sentient beings. So we can reflect on that for a moment. Resolve that for this session, this day, I'm gonna use my heart, my mind, my body for others, to serve others. And so whatever way is natural for you, try to develop the mind of refuge in bodhicitta. And so knowing that we need help And certainly the blessings of our gurus to develop bodhicitta. We can imagine the Guru Buddha, the refuge field in front of us. And we really ask them for help so that we gain the realizations of the path. So we can take refuge together by reciting the prayer three times. 
Sange chadan soki chagnam la Chancho badu dani kep suchi Dagi jin sogi pe sonam ki Drola penche sange drupar sho Sange chadan soki chagnam la Chancho badu dani kep suchi Dagi jin sogi pe sonam ki Jola penche sange drupar sho Sange chadan soki chagnam la Jancho bado dani kyap suchi Dagi jin sorgi pe sonam ki Jola penche sange drupar sho We can do five minutes of breathing meditation focusing on the breath to calm the mind, taking whatever object is most convenient for you. So we do that for five minutes.
So with a mind that is more calm and stable and relaxed, we can reflect on, on the very idea of bodhicitta. Mm. The wish to attain enlightenment, to free all sentient beings from suffering. So Lama Sukharimpache says, bodhicitta is the thought to benefit every sentient being without exception. A mind that completely, spontaneously works at nothing other than benefiting all living beings. So try to imagine what it would be like to have such a mind. completely concerned with benefiting others. How happy would you be to have a mind like this? So Kandula says these qualities don't come about just by wishing for them or praying for them. To develop these qualities, this mind, we have to put effort. And Rinpoche says, even if it takes lifetimes, it's the greatest project that we can do. To inspire us to do it, we meditate on the benefits of bodhicitta. So there are 10 listed in the Lamrim. And as we go through each one, you can reflect on it, see how much it moves your mind. The idea is to kind of, yeah, try it on, see what helps motivate you to develop interest in bodhicitta. So the first of the benefits is that bodhicitta is the only entrance to the Mahayana. So whether we are a Mahayanist or not, is not determined by the studies we've done or the initiations we've had, but by whether we have bodhicitta. And the second benefit, it said, we gain the name child of the Buddhas. So it means that when we develop bodhicitta, we become a holy being, we become an object of frustration for others. The third benefit is it said, we outshine the arhats. So arhats want others to have happiness. The bodhisattvas take the responsibility for accomplishing it. And the fourth benefit is we become a supreme object of offering. Amazuka Rinpoche says that the ground where a bodhisattva walks, 
a footprint of a bodhisattva is an object of frustration for humans and gods. And he says, because of the power of bodhicitta, in their mind stream, the whole body becomes an object of veneration. Everything that comes from the body, urine, feces, when others use it, it can heal them. How amazing that is. And the fifth benefit of bodhicitta is that we accumulate incredible merit. So Prabhanka says, if we light incense with bodhicitta, we get as much merit as the number of sentient beings. Doing anything with bodhicitta, just the merit becomes fast. And the sixth benefit is that we purify huge amounts of negative karma. And so we've created negative karma in relation to sentient beings, but with bodhicitta, this incredible motivation, we purify huge amounts of negativity. The seventh benefit is that all our wishes will be fulfilled. Any work that we want to undertake will be successful. And since we're working for others, whatever we do will be completed without much effort. Instead of Bodhisattva can cure others just with small actions like giving leftover food or blowing on a person. So much ease. And then the ninth benefit is that we're not bothered by hindrances. So we don't have so, so many problems, so much harm from humans or non-humans. And with bodhicitta, we get help from protectors without even asking for it. Rinpoche is in a place where bodhisattvas are even bad conditions like famine and harm, crops, all these things can improve. The ninth benefit is that we quickly complete the path because the accumulation of merit with bodhicitta, every action, everything we do, even just eating food, accumulates so much merit that we complete the path quickly. And the 10th benefit 
is that we become a source of peace and happiness for all sentient beings. So using any of these or your own knowledge, try to get a sense of the incredible benefits of the mind of Bodhicitta. Give you a couple of minutes to reflect on that. And if you get a sense of, <clears throat> or a feeling of how amazing it would be to develop this mind, then just abide in that feeling. So we try and get a strong sense of how wonderful it would be to develop this mind. So notice any conclusions you've drawn or any insights that you've gained. And we can dedicate the merit, of course, for the enlightenment of all sentient beings, but also 
for ourselves to be able to develop bodhicitta as quickly as possible in this life. And so we can do the dedication prayers. Okay. <clears throat> so, due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception to that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel, Bodhicitta, that has not arisen, arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Long life prayer for Lama Zipa Rinpoche. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Majanat's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplish magnificent prayers honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Where is holiness? The wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, May all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for O Self, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request. O Lama, please, please live long. Geshe Tubdan Sherab. Beloved teacher, leading your students towards wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. You can make your own dedications as well. So thank you, everybody, and um, have a wonderful rest of the day, rest of week, and see you next time. <laughs>